on track um, <laughs> with uh, George, George um, Platform 2020 Survival Guide. So this is from, I've been doing videos uh, this is from 1997, George Magazine, which was John F. Kennedy Jr.'s magazine. Uh, the 1997 issue uh, featured a survival guide um, for the future. Now, I don't know how, I'm still not done with crazy ass dates, but I'm still not done with crazy ass dates. So there's a few more questions I was just looking over, and I think we should read them together. Okay. Okay, so this one popped out. Um, so this is 1997, you have to keep that in mind. So this guy's already got 40, he's like the richest guy already, 40 billion, and the company's grossing 100, and computers are just starting to come out and stuff. I'm all like trying to get in there. All right. Oh, is that Wouldn't the comp okay, what about the criticism that Microsoft this is the question being posed by JFK in the interview in the magazine to Bill Gates? What about the criticism that Microsoft's dominant position in the industry is anti competitive, but the industry should be reconfigured so that thousands so a thousand flowers can bloom instead of one big tree that dwarfs everything else, Microsoft. Um, anybody, the answer, anybody who would say that doesn't understand our business, meaning doesn't understand my psychotic, illogical, evil line of thinking. I don't like bullies. Wouldn't the competition and variety of, uh, next question, wouldn't the competition and variety of even great, and also the drive for innovation, all that stuff, wouldn't the competition and variety be even greater in the PC industry without a dominant player like Microsoft? No, Bill Gates says. Someone had to come in and play the role that we play. That is, create the standards and really evangelize, and weird word choice, the platform. We are there a hundred times more software comp we are there a hundred times more software companies today than before. It's because they are writing software for a standard environment that Microsoft created. I hate Microsoft by the way. Why are there why are there so many hardware companies offering all these choices? Because there's a standard hardware environment that we created. Okay, so who says that has to be the standard environment? There can be other standards for this environment, the internet, uh, computers, that might serve humanity and the end goal of this planet better, asshole. Excuse my side language. Someone was a bully to me earlier. Care. How do you respond to the criticism that basically Microsoft behaves toward new entries into the field the way IBM behaved when Microsoft was just getting started? Your early success was predicted on maintaining an open software environment, uh, promoting the capability of your products with other products. But now that you are a market leader, some are saying, you advocate a closed software architecture. Bill says the word open is just an abused word. Think about this man now. Think about the words he uses. Like, it's just an open word, <laughs> abused word. Uh, it started as a slogan for workstation vendors. What counts are innovative people who are my slaves. Just kidding. Innovative software products that work well with, uh, with what people have, which one day I will manage down to the penny. Um, 
We and other companies created current computer industry regime. You can buy one brand of PC on a Monday, another on a Tuesday, and your software will still, uh, software still works and you get a choice. And then on Wednesday, it won't, and we're gonna charge twice as much for the software they're gonna have to buy. Um, this made computing very successful for our bank accounts, and we're the key element here. So the openness that counts is the basis on which we and everybody else compete. And because of our products, we're doing very well in that regime. I couldn't make this up. There are a thousand other words that would be more appropriate in one qu question answer. Abuse, open, Ever, no, that was the other question. Regime twice based on what people have because of our products. And he's all uh, founded in what people don't understand. Nobody has ever talked to you because you're creepy. You're probably the guy like killing spiders in when you were little um ralph waldo emerson said that an institution is the lengthened shadow of one man in what sense is microsoft a reflection of you his answer the sense that we love great software we're very optimistic about what software can do we're very product oriented, very much looking for new things that we can do. It's a bit of an, an engineering culture here, fairly fast moving. A lot of companies waste a lot of time congratulating themselves about what's going well. When I sit down and talk about a product, I just focus on the opportunities to make them better. You can save a lot of time that way. Um, okay, so this, I answered this in the last one, that MSNBC, which I never knew was when he acquired uh, uh, a, a section of NBC and hence the birth of N MSNBC, which is like the leftist left thing. It's like Rachel Maddow show channel. And uh, it stands for, I never knew what it stands for, Microsoft's. Microsoft's S apostrophe NVC. Um, he goes, why do you keep them separate? Why don't why, why aren't you open about Microsoft, the computer company being the, you know, being the umbrella for this media company, which in 1997 media was at least pretending to be more real. I keep them, his answer is, why do you keep them separate? Because the alternative is inappropriate. I have my personal views. Then there's Microsoft, a company that gets involved in very few political things. The man's involved in the politics of this planet right now, um, in a bad way. My own views are those you'd expect from somebody who feels like he's been very, very lucky and the resources under his command are really society's resources. Then give everyone some money and get the fuck out of our lives, man. Um, and I have to be clever about how I'm going to funnel those back in. I fund education projects so I can steal children. I fund population control. He said it right there. I'm very big on the United Way. I'm going to read that last sentence again. I'm going to funnel those. I have to be very clever how I funnel all my billions back into society because I, I see my billions as society's resources. So um, quite logically, um, education projects, 
population control, verbatim, I'm very big on the United Way. I'm just gonna wrap up Gates, see if there's any more questions. What do you see on the road ahead for the Microsoft Corporation? We are based on a vision of computers becoming an incredible tool for everybody. It's a vision that is very far from being realized. Computers can't listen to what you're saying. Not yet. They do now, Alexa. They can't speak to you. They do now, Sirius or Siri. They can't see every phone watches you and your iPad. That's why I put covers on my camera and my thing. Um, well, somebody told me to do that. They don't learn. I mean, computers are still pretty limited today. My entire life has been devoted to the future and exciting new things on the way. There's something called Moore's Law, which says that basically every two years, computer gets twice as good. That's a sure thing. I have to switch my laundry.